Hello students. Today we will learn about the brain and nerves. You open a book and begin to read. You see a bus coming your way and you know you must stop. You hear some music and recognize the song. You can see things. Hear different sounds. Taste foods. And discover many things about the world around you. All this and more are possible because we have sense organs. But how do the eyes know what they are seeing? How can the ears tell the difference between the sound of a human voice and that of a car? With the help of the nervous system, the brain detects the world around us. The brain is the control center of the body. It controls all the systems of the body. The nerves in the body receive signals from the sense organs and take messages to the brain. The brain and the nervous form the nervous system. The nervous is distributed throughout the body. Students, let's discuss the brain and its parts. The human brain is divided into three main parts, the cerebrum, the cerebellum, and the medulla or brain stem. Different parts of the brain do different jobs. Let's discuss them one by one. The cerebrum controls your voluntary actions like thinking, feelings, decision-making, reading, listening, and the ability to differentiate between taste and smell. It enables you to remember things. The cerebellum is located below the cerebrum and above the medulla. Its function is to control the balance and movement of the muscles and joints. It helps you to run, walk, jump, and do many other physical activities in which the muscles are involved. The lowest part of the brain is called the brain stem or medulla. It controls involuntary actions such as breathing, digesting, and the beating of the heart muscle. The medulla keeps working when the rest of the brain goes to sleep. Let's explore nerves. Nerves work like telephone network wires. They link every part of the body to a central control system. The brain. Nerves are made up of nerve cells and are of two kinds. Sensory nerves. Motor nerves. Sensory nerves carry signals from the sense organs to the brain or the spinal cord. These in turn tell the sense organs what they have seen, heard, smelled, tasted, or felt. Motor nerves send signals from the brain or spinal cord to the muscles and glands. These signals make muscles move. The brain, spinal cord, and nerves form a very efficient communication network. This network is known as the nervous system. It controls all actions and movements. Students do you know about reflex action? When you step on a pain your foot automatically pulls away. Such actions where you do not stop to think, are known as reflex actions. These are controlled by the spinal cord. Students, this is all about the brain and nerves. I hope you enjoy the lecture. Subscribe the channel for more videos.